Do you have these little end caps on your door hinges? I'm going to show you how I pop them off. Shack tip next. I'm Rick and this Shut the heck up you stinking boosters. This is the shack. Hey everybody, welcome. Hey, if you're new to the channel, first time stopping by, thank you so much for taking some of your time out to view. I really appreciate that. I always ask that you would consider subscribing if you do. Ring ding 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 ding. Don't hit myself in the head with the hammer. Ring that bell down there <laughs> so you notify when these videos do come out. I ran across something working in my aunt's house and all her interior doors, they have this little cap. If you've ever come across this, what I do, I use a pair of dikes and a hammer. That's it. Very easy, very simple. The reason I do that, again, a lot of times people just paint these hinges and there'll be paint all over in here. So what I do, instead of using like vice grips and grabbing on this, I don't want to mar that up. That's why I use these. These are just some dikes that, that were in my car since all my tools are at home. But I still had this, so this is how I pop them off. I'm gonna show you real quick. Let me zoom in. Now, what I do is I take the cutting edge of these dikes, I find that little ridge right there where this clamps into, and I'll clamp that on it, and I'll basically kind of go around. As you see, I'm breaking the paint off around there because that paint will be like glue, man. It will stick in there and it'll do it. So I will run that around there a little bit. Now that I feel that I've got most of the paint broke away from that, at least cut in so it will break loose, I kind of, I squeeze on it, I just tap the hammer gently, it won't take much for these to pop out, and I'll check it and I see just a little hairline, so it's coming, I don't, don't want to rush it, I'll do it again, squeeze on it. And I can actually sometimes, if I squeeze on it, it'll pop it right out if it's not glued too tightly with paint. So I tap it. Oop. Popped right out. You get no marring on the edges. This, it's just like pushing in and, and, and squeezing it out pulling it out as you crimp it and just pop it loose. See all that paint right there build up? That's what holds it in. That easy, that simple. Basically, when it's sitting in there, take my dikes and I just go in there, find that little line in that ridge, spin it around like that, breaking the paint away. Squeeze it a little bit. Again, you do have to have a cut of grip. Hold it, tap down, look, and you'll see if it starts getting a gap there or not. When it does, then squeeze again, Kind of work it in a little bit, tap it down, it'll pop out. That's just my way of doing it. Too, is I don't want to grab it with vice grips, squeezing here and pulling down out of it because you can leave marks on there. I don't want to do that. I'm just anal, you know, weird stuff. So I have a different way. That's how I take these caps out. Hope to help. Maybe if you're doing a project in the house, you want to take the door off and you look at this like, how, how, what is this, solid pin? You can't, yeah, you can take them out. So just take some time, do it right. Save your hardware, don't destroy it, don't get mad, don't get frustrated, just build it for your sanity now. <laughs> Simple, quick, shack tip. Thank you so much for watching, be blessed, take back your shack, and build it for your sanity. See you in the next video. Take the hardware off, my gosh.